minutes later. All right, so we're going to talk today about how Goose Creek and Lamar Institute of Technology are partnering with dual credit. We're going to talk a little bit about LIT dual credit in general, and then go into the particular pathways that we are partnering with for your students. So first thing, if you guys, uh, I just want to make sure that you all can see my screen here. Do you guys see my, uh, my PowerPoint? It's got the, the two logos for the campuses there. That's what we're going to be focusing on. And uh, I do want to show you guys one thing. I'm going to give uh, Homero a chance to be able to talk about how you can participate if you have any questions, you know, things like that. It's real simple. We've done the whole uh, the COVID Zoom world, but this program is a little bit different from Zoom, and we want to make sure that you can ask questions. Amira, would you mind uh, talking to people about that? No, not at all. Uh, so like Lou mentioned, uh, most of us are pretty familiar with these uh, online meetings, uh, especially by now. Uh, but Blackboard Collaborate is something that may be new to you. Uh, one of the things that we'd like to do before we start presenting is give you a chance to get familiar with it uh, by showing you some of the main controls and some of the main tools that are available to you as a participant. Uh, so as a participant, you have the ability to chat with us, to comment, question, uh, whatever it may be, and also view along um, some of the material we post. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so on your screen, you probably see uh, on the bottom right hand corner, there's a purple arrow um, with a big green arrow highlighting it. Uh, if you click on that, menu button it expands a menu to you that gives you the options to see uh, who the moderators are who the presenters are um, and who the participants are as well so you'll see uh, there's a message bubble as well that icon allows you to chat with us so whether you want to chat with everyone that's participating uh, including uh, the participants and the moderators then you have the option to, to post it if you want to post a more of a private question that you that pertains to you only uh, you can message through the moderator. So selecting either one of those can get our attention. Um, Jade and myself will be moderating this chat um, and we can to mention it to Luke as he's talking. Um, and we'll also be posting supplemental material that goes along with the slides. Uh, so be on the lookout for that as well. Um, is there a next slide, Luke, for this? Yep. Yeah, nope. So, okay, uh, so that takes care of the housekeeping. I'll let you go ahead and get started, Luke. All right, so let's talk a little bit about dual enrollment at LIT. So if you don't know what dual enrollment is, dual enrollment is where you are getting credit for both your high school course as well as a college course. So you're taking one course, but it's counting in two places. And so it's a very powerful tool for students to really make some progress, especially as it relates to a career pathway or getting ahead with their college courses. So uh, why should you take dual enrollment courses? And so there's a couple of reasons for this. Now, obviously it can help you get a jump on your career, but I want to picture, I want you to picture this for me, if you will. So this is kind of my story and it's not really that uncommon of a story, but you start a degree and you're like, you know what, I'm going to do engineering and you're, you're, all about engineering, you did well in math and high school, and a recruiter told you that, man, with engineering, you can make a lot of money, and it's gonna be great. This is the career path for me. So you go in and you become an engineer. You're, you're going to school for it. You go to A&M, you go to Lamar, you go to, you go to a really a, a top engineering school, and you, you semester one, calculus, and you're like, ooh, that was, that was rough, but we made it. Calculus two, semester two. Okay, by the time you get to differential, differential equations, you're like, man, I do not like math. What, what am I doing? I don't like this degree. I, I, I've changed my mind. I don't want to be an engineer anymore. And then we're $40,000 in debt. We do not have a degree. We do not have a career. And we've either wasted scholarship money, aid money, and time. So one of the things that dual credit does, especially with these career pathways, is that it really gives students a chance to feel how this is going to to work and instead of spending college time college money dorm expenses all that it's students in high school with great support and if it works out is their career great if it doesn't you know we've just spent just spent high school time doing it and we did not spend significant tuition amount 
on it. So it's a really good opportunity to get a feel for the course without having to commit to a full college life. So it does save you time. It does help you get started. You can knock out some time off of your degree. You can knock out some time off of the next stage. And this just gets you into the workforce sooner. One of the things, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about LIT right now. So one of the things that I always say about LIT is we teach you how to do something. You know, if you want to learn how to be a dancer, uh, how to be a sculptor, an artist, there are fantastic schools out there for those careers. LIT is not one of them. LIT is going to help you build something, fix something, produce something. That's what we do. We train welders, we train computer techs, we train cybersecurity analysts, we train process operators. That's really what e EMT, criminal justice, people that, that are in the field doing stuff, putting their hands on something. That's really where we excel. In fact, we are the rated by Forbes magazine. We are the number one community college in Texas. Number one. We are number seven in the whole country. And it is because we get people and train people how to do something. We get them into the workforce right away. With the pathways we're going to talk about tonight, each of them is a post-secondary credential, which I'll talk about what that means, but it's basically you do receive a completion from the college of completing the program and it can put you to work right away. So you do not, like if you chose to leave high school and enter into the workforce, you're trained enough to start an entry level job. Now it's always better if we finish our college education, you know, we don't want to just stop right there, but you could, it can get you into the workforce right now, just with this high school program. So gaining valuable skills is a big deal. And obviously you're going to save some money. And so let's talk a little bit about saving the money and how we compare. And so uh, how we compare what we are, what we're doing is first off, you need to understand community college is almost always going to be more affordable than a four year institution. That's the nature of community colleges. Among the community colleges, LIT is even affordable within community college. So if you're like in my previous example, going to an engineering school for a name brand school, UT A&M, uh, it is going to be on the upper end of cost to you versus the lower end. So you can see on this some of the, the differences in cost. But what I want to talk about is the dual credit price. So we charge $50 a credit hour. If you were to take that same course, once you become an adult learner, a course such as English 1301, or in this case, like an EMT class or, or something like that, it would cost you about $562 for one class. As a dual credit student, it's going to cost you about $150. So it's even though we're a, an affordable community college, dual credit is even more affordable. So it's a really good opportunity to uh, get started and do it at a very affordable rate. So. Let's talk about some of the pathways. Now, we are introducing two pathways with you guys tonight, and I wanna talk about both of them. Here is uh, one thing that I wanna mention with these pathways is that they do allow for completion, and I'll highlight that in just a second. But EMT is the first one. This plugs into and helps you attain your EMT certification. There's gonna be clinical hours associated with it, as well as preparatory hours. We also have a lot of pathways. So this will, uh, a lot of pathways that lead into other degrees with this. But I want to talk a little bit about down there at the bottom, do you see that cap right there and then the, uh, the diploma? What we're looking at here is this is a level one certification. So what that means is, is if you're a student or if you are a student and you're, you're watching this, finishes this program with us, they actually get to walk in our graduation. This is, and, and get a diploma. We will call your name, you will wear a cap and gown, you will shake hands with the president of LIT at graduation, and we give you a diploma. You will be a college graduate before you graduate high school. It's a big deal, we're really proud of it. One thing about the EMT, this does get you to do and ride in the ambulance but there is one thing that you need to know. 
you've got to be 18 to ride in the ambulance. So you can finish this program, get your EMT certification, become a medic, but we're not letting you, well, not we, but the state won't let you ride in an ambulance until you turn 18. So if you are one of those July birthdays and you turn 18 in July, it won't be until your birthday that you can ride in the ambulance. Even though you're fully trained, fully capable, it's, it's just the rules. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing here. Right here, if you're looking at it, this is the way that the pathway would look for you. We've got different classes for the ISD side here, and then the blue is the LIT side. So this pathway for us, this is a suggested pathway, is your student would start in the 10th grade taking things like medical terminology. Then we would go into anatomy and physiology, taking that, and there's, there's some options there, but this is our lab science. It's an academic course. This course does require TSI readiness in English and language arts. And then your senior year, that's when we start hitting your clinicals. That's when you're doing a lot of the actually out in the field doing things. So it's got to fit in your schedule. We got to work it out, but it is a wonderful, wonderful program. It is, uh, it really does train you to sit for your EMT certification. And so it, it's a big deal. We're very proud of this program and super excited that we're starting it with you guys. Now down here at the bottom, right, if you're looking at this screen here, it's 16 hours. That is 16 college credit hours towards your degree that you would get from us. This is a certificate from us as well. So if you finish as a student or if your student finishes, they're going to graduate college. They get a diploma. Now it's not the full degree, but it is a certificate for the EMT completion. And that's a big deal. So the next one that I want to talk to you guys about is the crime scene investigation. The great thing about these is you're going to have some face to face teachers. So your teachers are going to be teaching these to your students face to face and they're credentialed as college professors. So they are actually working for us while they are in the classroom teaching these courses. And this leads to your crime scene uh, investigator. So like it, when you think of CSI, this is, these are the guys. So it's a really cool uh, degree program. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones to always watch our our recruiters pitch because they, they they've got those you know those bullet shot uh, trajectories where they stick the red uh, lines in and it shows which way the bullet came from they do blood splatter analysis all kinds of really cool stuff uh, and it does plug into a bachelor of applied arts and sciences with sfa in public administration so i want to talk about that really quickly so this this crime scene technician is a two-year degree okay it will plug in, we have an articulation agreement with Stephen F. Austin to where if your student is doing this for two years, they go for two more years at Stephen F. Austin and they will get their four year degree. They do not have to start all over with a different degree. It's a two by two. So in four years or really less than four years, if you count when they start because they're gonna be ahead already, but in four years, theoretically, they could have two degrees. So it's a really, really cool program. The cool thing about that is the Stephen F. Austin one is 100% online. So you could finish this, go work, and finish your four-year degree in the field. So let's look at that. And oh yeah, it is a level one certification as well. So if you finish, you get to walk with us in graduation. So here's what that would look like. It is 24 hours. So it's a bit heftier. It's a, it's a little bit more hours than the EMT but it is a very doable course and your students that sign up for it will be able to finish that. They will have 24 credit hours towards their degree, more than a third of the way there, right? So it's that almost halfway there. So it is really, really cool that you guys get to do that. So uh, the next steps for you guys are how to apply. And if you're familiar with dual credit at all, you know you're probably going to have to go to Apply Texas. If you've done dual credit before, you will use the same profile you created, same login, and just apply to LIT. And we will have those instructions for you. So if you are new to dual credit, it's applytexas.org. That's where you're going to go. You're going to create a profile. And it's very similar to the idea of a job application. If you've ever filled out a job application, every job application has the same stuff. They're always going to ask you what's your name, what's your address, 
where are you from, all of those things, and you fill out the same thing over and over. Well, Apply Texas will save that for you, and you it will auto-populate every application. So even if you plan on going to A&M, any UT, Texas Tech, UTEP, anywhere, it will save that for you and use that for your application. The applications to LIT are 100% free, so there's no application fee. If you are considering this, you can still fill out an application, but it's, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things where you can do it and then back out later, but you can't do it later if you don't, you know, if it's too late. So it doesn't cost you anything to apply. So make sure that if you're considering this for your students, make sure that they apply. So I'm going to open it up to questions here to see if you guys have anything or if Ms. Cox wants to add anything to this uh, before we close. And I know you're like, oh, 21 minutes. That's a that's got to be a record for a Zoom, right? You know, but uh, hey, you know, we're, we're efficient. That's that's how we do. Oh, by the way, if you need to contact us right here, you can any questions, send them to dual credit at lit.edu. And you can call that phone number. Feel free to reach out directly to us. We will definitely want to answer those questions for you. Uh, Ms. Cox, did you have anything that you wanted to add? Uh, no, I don't. Um, but thank you for recording this. I'm, I'm going to um, send it out to the teachers so they can put it in their classrooms Mommy, or show it to their kids. Sounds great.